Hi guys, and welcome to yet another exciting video tutorial. First of all, let's make a rectangle shape with the rectangle tool. And then curve its corners. Now go to object and offset its path. Negative 20 points. To make a smaller shape inside it. And now select the pen tool. And let's draw a mountain or hill shape inside our curved rectangle shapes. Now select the Shape Builder tool and hold the Alt key and drag at the portions of the shape that you want to cut. Make sure that both of the shapes are selected, that you want to merge or cut from each other. Now give it its appropriate color with the eyedropper tool. Now make two more hills inside our batch and cut them with the Shape Builder tool also. Now send these shapes to the back by hitting Ctrl plus bracket keys on the keyboard. Once they are arranged at their spots, then make the banner of the badge with the rectangle tool. Duplicate the banner shape to make its sides. Reduce its size. Let's zoom a little for better visibility. With the pen tool, make an extra anchor point in this shape and drag that anchor point a little outside. Curve the corners of the shapes a little by the use of direct selection tool. Now let's make the shadows of the banner with the pen tool. Cut the extra parts. Click and drag with the pen tool to curve the lines. Let's move the canvas to the side so the color palettes are visible. Now apply the colors to the banner. Now make a duplicate copy of the side of the banner and place it on the other side. Send it to the back. Now let's make the wheat kernel and the leaves. Select the ellipse tool and make two circles. Place them side by side and cut them from each other. Apply the colors to them. Take one to the side. We will use it later. Now make the shade of the wheat grain and place on the grain. Let's drag the wheat grain while holding the Alt key to make a copy of it. Now reduce its size a little as it is shown. Repeat the same process a few times. Place one more grain at the top of them all. Select all the wheat grains and right-click it and use the Reflect command to make duplicate copies of them all. Place them on the other side of the stroke path. Make a stroke path in the middle of it with the pen tool. Increase the stroke size. Select all the shapes and group them together. Now let's make the leaf shape. Modify the shape of it by readjusting its anchor point. Let's apply the color to it. Make a mid rib inside the leaf. Make the highlights and shadow of the leaf. The highlight is just a white fill color with 50% opacity. Make one other small leaf from this one. Place it underneath it. Group the leaves together and place them on the batch. Make duplicate copies of the leaves also and place them on the other side. Send them behind the banner. Zoom out a little. Now let's use the type tool to write our text of the badge logo. Increase the text size to 72 points. And write whatever you want to write in your logo. But I am going to write Farmers because it's a farm badge logo design. Change the font type to bold and then place it on the badge illustration. Give appropriate color to it. Now let's add two more texts for our badge logo. By the way you can use any type font that you like, just make sure that it's clean, formal type. 
because in my experience the handwritten types of font don't look that good on the logos. Unless you are going for some particular type of style, change the text style to light, apply color to it, and don't worry it didn't disappear, it's still there. Place it on the badge logo, and that's it. Our illustration is done. Please tell me in the comment section how many of you at least tried to make it. And that's it. I hope you like the video. Please tell me what you want to see next.